welcome to this class today we are going to balance this reaction this is copper two chloride sodium hydroxide this is this is copper hydroxide okay this is sodium chloride right okay to balance this reaction at first we have to draw a table like this this is reactant sites and this is product side so now we have to count the number of atoms and groups from both sides so look in the left hand side the number of copper atom here is one the number of chlorine atom is here two the number of sodium atom here is one and the number of hydroxide hydroxide is a polyatomic ion right one here the number of copper here is one the number of hydroxide these two is subscript and uh, subscript indicates that weight has two that is the number of which in left hand side is two then here in sodium chloride we have one sodium atom and here chlorine is one okay to balance this reaction means we have to balance the number of copper chlorine sodium and hydroxide uh, from both side look here copper in the left hand side one one so copper is already balanced so you have nothing to do chlorine two but here chlorine one so to balance the chlorine what you what you can do okay if i multiply here by two that gives me two look these two must come before this chlorine right so this chlorine has come from sodium chloride so these two must come before here here this two is a coefficient right if you put here two look if you put here two the number of chlorine will be two right the number of chlorine will be two so let me update the number of number of sodium will be two sorry so let me update the number of sodium two the number of chlorine is two look copper one one chlorine 2 2 so chlorine is balanced look sodium here 1 but here 2 so to balance the sodium what can i do here i can multiply here by 2 that gives me 2 these two must come before this sodium this sodium has come from here so i have to put here 2 if i put here 2 the number of sodium will be 2 already we have the number of hydroxide will be 2 but here we have 1 so 2 right you have to write look now your sodium 2 2 so sodium is balanced and hydroxide 2 2 is balanced so you can say that this reaction is a balanced reaction look so if you get this sign then you have to change this sign with this sign right so this is the balanced reaction so thank you for being this video be well